Hello! We are now going to look at the library, the library of elements and samples in Sirenscape. And we're going to look just a little bit about moving things around from different sound sets and gathering them all together to finish off our fantastic Brown Dragon Swamp Raid sound set. Excelente! Right, we need to close up some things here. Okay, no, no, I want that open, so I'm going I'm to leave the sample library open so my head is not in the way of things. So we saw in the previous video how we can search for some samples. What I want to do actually is to create a swamp sound to put the battle we're going to have with our fire drake in the correct context. Swamp, I'm going to type into elements. I can then audition the elements by starting them. Excellent. Excellent. Good. So I like those three elements. So I'm simply going to click this button, add to selected sound set. Boom. Boom. And boom. So now those three elements appear here. Now if you end up with something weird like this where there are one-shot elements sitting above normal elements or anything else weird like a stuck-on sort of meter, it can help to hit the refresh button on your browser. And let's just do that. Brown Dragon Swamp Raid. Okay, and now those actual things are in the correct place. So I've copied those elements from the element library. I'm going to turn them on now. Now note now that these elements are in my sound set. I have all the editing capacity available to me so I can change the parameters and the timing and the positioning and the reverb and all that sort of stuff. Good, okay, I like that. So now I'm going to save that as a mood. I'm going to call that Swampy Day. Save current state. I'm going to move that mood up to the top and that's become my nice starting off element. Now I want to go to the dragon fire which is set in a town at the moment. <laughs> I'm going to leave the music going. Turn off the burning buildings, turn off the crowd noises, the cathedral bells, the fire. I'll leave on the dragon rules obviously, turn the, those off, good. And turn our swampy atmosphere back on. Okay, good. Save that current state. And it's not dragon fire, it's swamp dragon attacks. There we go. Swampy day. Swamp dragon attacks. So that's how the element library works. We've seen how the sample library works already. You can search for uh, terms. You can, you can, you saw how I went fire Drake and showed my fire Drake. Now, say I wanted fire Drake sample number three. You can actually type these words in in any order. Pick out individual parts of the sample name. So it can help to give your samples intelligent names to make them more findable in the library. For instance, if I just type raw, it brings up bajillions of raws. <laughs> many, many of the raws. But if I type uh, goblin, are there any goblin raws? There are no goblin raws. Goblin growl. There we are, that brings up some actual samples. Okay, 
One more way we could have made the swamp sound effect work. I'm going to actually search, see if there are any uh, sound sets with the word swamp in them. And of course there is. There's our sound set. <laughs> Let's go swampy land. Let's get rid of the library. So we had some frogs here that are kind of cool, which I didn't find. So when I typed in swamp into the uh, element library search, it didn't bring up some of these things. So I could go to this element and I could copy this frog element into my sound set. Or, as I showed before, I could just copy the entire mood into my brown dragon swamp raid. And it will take all those elements and that mood into my sound set. I'm going fast, so watch this again if you need to. There we go, here's the swampy land. There are all those elements. And then I had the other swamp sounds that I brought in before. And now I've got a really, really rich soundscape for my swamp. Let's have a listen. weird bugs so then maybe now I want to turn on my dragon roars turn them up to full volume go back up here not click this so it plays but just click the handle and then go save current state awesome there you go there's some random things in there I really now need people to ask questions because I've used this for so long to author our own content for Sirenscape. This is the tool that all our Sirenscape soundset creators use. I, I really need you to point out the things that I am finding obvious and not uh, realizing I haven't mentioned. So please do that and I shall either re uh, remove this video and, and create a new version that's clearer and covers all the topics or I'll sort of do an extra bits of information video at the end um, or, and, and also answer your questions in the comments. Thank you for going on this long journey with me. There are some other videos below about uh, more detailed things or more uh, different views at things. Also how to process and make your samples clean and loud and all that sort of useful stuff. Thank you so much for the support you give us uh, every single month to keep this uh, company clicking over and keep us creating lots of lots of really awesome content and amazing tools to make it play at your gaming table. Uh, see you on the forums and at support at sirenscape.com or benjamin at sirenscape.com and uh, keep that communication going and keep asking for those fantastic features that you want as we continue to improve this software. Rah! <laughs> see you later.